Hey there everybody, welcome back for some more Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, Echoes, Echoes. My name is Tenzbub13, and in the last part or so, we have arrived at good old Torva's bog. Ah, uh, still can't get enough of this place. But we are welcomed with Shredders, that's very lovely. Just die. There we go, take a missile to the face. So, um, we got a lot of stuff to do here. <laughs> Let's just say things are going to be rather interesting. So, right from the start, we can't really move good underwater. So I'm guessing a little bit later on, we'll be getting something that deals with that. So we got hidelings right here. These creatures are actually really helpful. Um, for starters, I would love to refill my ammo. So that would be... Just look how much stuff they drop. It's um, These guys are actually really helpful later on. So... Look at that, I'm already at like full health right here, or full ammo. So, um, yeah, so we can't really move good underwater as Samus is really struggling here. Like, sorry Samus, you, you really need to learn how to swim better. Or maybe get a better suit, or something. Just something that, you know, that, that you, you pretty much want to dive down and have an adventure of some sorts. I, I just don't know. I could care less, okay? Um, but we destroyed those little hidelings. I, I feel so sorry for doing so. They're just so cute and cuddly and I don't know. They, they don't even look that cute. <laughs> so, um, there's this thing right over here, which, uh, this is another Luminoth lore, if I'm not mistaken. But we can't scan that quite yet. As always, we need, we don't have the technology for that sort of thing. So I just, we're going to kindly move on. Oh dear. I really love it how it's just raining in the backgrounds here. And uh, these little enemies right here are kind of annoying. I can scan you. Alright, these are Shriekers. Not the Shriek Bats, but the Shriekers. These are flying plant predators. Um, they actually are not visible from our regular visor. They fire sonic blasts, so something a little bit later on that can take care of these guys. But um, we're, gonna, we're just going to have to leave them alone for now. So I'm just going to do that. Leave them alone. Because um, they're really not worth fighting for. Let's just blow this down, shall we? And into the tunnel we go. Alright, so let's just keep moving on here. Oh man, another missile! I want the missile! Like, Oh man, I want that missile so bad. <laughs> Alright, so that back there, um, we can't really do that quite yet. A little bit later on, that's going to involve uh, thinking with portals, I guess. <laughs> Right now, we just activated this thing. Opens up a little bridge to that point. And we're right back where we were from the very beginning. So let's just keep moving on here. Nothing to see here. Ah, sh Shredders, go away! You're awfully outnumbered. Oh god, now they're, they're really getting... <laughs> they're really getting bigger now. So that's pretty much that. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything in this room. Um, but there are some more of that stuff hanging up there. So I don't think there's anything that important there yet. That I remembered. And in this room... Oh dear. What do we got this time? It's a new creature! It looks rather scary. <laughs> Those things are kind of resembled in a certain creature that I so, so hate. So, welcome to uh, Gretschlers. These are kind of the rip-off versions of the Sheikah. Or, the, not the Sheikahs. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The uh, creatures from Metroid Prime. Little baby Sheikahs. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like them. You know, they have the same weakness. They have, like, the same shape and all that. So they are pretty much the same. Just they have some uh, new attacks. Ow, excuse me. Please, just... And they all have the same weakness, too. I have to destroy their little tails or their butts. You know? Samus is just that kind of person. Destroying enemies' butts. That's rather... That's just rather crazy in a half, I must say. But this... God, man, this Grinchler would not die. <laughs> just stay down. There you go. Sorry I had to put you out of your misery, but, you know, you're kind of the most... You're probably one of the more annoying creatures that we will sooner or later uh, encounter. So right here we got bloat sacks. Um, 
Those are actually nothing really too big. This over here is a um, sentinel crystal. Uh, these guys aren't really that necessarily as well. They don't really do much. Same as that over there. So um, Here in this room, as you can kindly see on that side, well, maybe if I get a little bit closer, I think there's a portal on that side. So something tells me we're going to have to, once again, activate portals. You know, this brings me back to Portal 2 all over again. So inside the portal we go. You gotta do it, Samus. You just gotta do it. Although this time with the dark suit, things aren't going to be that bad. You know, and I think they're starting to get a little bit clever with the uh, the energy crystals. Notice how there's not that much around this area. Well, um, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so in the dark world of um, Torvus Bog, there's some things like this. Dark Sentinel Crystals, which are basically like the things we saw in the light world. And then these little fellas are the um, Ink Sphere Caches. Uh, much like the ones that we saw in Aegon Waste, or the Dark Aegon Waste, they replenish your health and restores ammo, anything like that. I think there was also something else down here too, this thing right there. A dark Flogless or something, I don't know. <laughs> Rather unusual name to pronounce, that thing. So let's go ahead and uh, insert our butts into this little slot machine here. I don't know why I call this slot machines. <laughs> they're just slots, okay? No machines. Well, they are machines, but they're... You know what? Let's just leave it at that. Let's just leave it at slot machines for now. My whole mind is just brambling with things that I'd rather talk about. So over there, that's that green door that I was talking about. So I guess we're going to have to go back now. I think that's all we can pretty much do in here. Since if you look on our map... Yeah, there's that green door. And then there's also a yellow thing on our map too, which is something unusual. So we'll get back to this spot. Probably later much. But for now, let's go back into the light world once more. And, uh... Dissolve, I guess. <laughs> So that little activation back there, as you saw, opens this up, and then... What the? Whoa! Interdimensional pirates! That's, uh... Kinda scary. Can I just please scan you? Stop moving around! Thank you. These are dark pirate commandos. Rather scary looking, but, um... Kinda like, um... How do I put this? They're more like the Chozo ghosts, um, from Metroid Prime. Um, only a certain visor can see these. Ah, god. And then they have, like, all kinds of dark technology. Kind of, uh... Stop shooting me! Okay. Uh, you there, Mr. Dark Pirate. You need to get, get covered in my good old... What the heck? There we go. For some reason, that just didn't work <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. Uh, so dark ammo really just takes these guys out really quick. Uh, much like much like the ice beam in uh, this game. Aha! You can't fool me. And that's just about it, I think. Alrighty. Um, so let me just see here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just gonna admit this. Uh, Torvus Bog is definitely gonna be one of those areas where I might get lost in some points of the game. Um, but I think the next area that we go to might be a little bit. Uh, the same thing as well. But we'll just see how things go. Um, I know my sense of direction is probably where I need to be. So let's just keep going this way here. And, uh, let's just go back this way. Oh, actually, um, shoot. Well, I can't go that way now because that thing's in my way. I'm just gonna let them blow themselves up. Come on. There we go. I actually was supposed to go back in that room, I remembered something. Good old me! I, I told you, my sense of direction is just gonna be that... that... kind of thing. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <laughs> let the lost... Let the... Let the losting frustration begin. If that's even a thing. So, there's some more of those Grinchlings, I can care less. They're all, like, mad because I killed them back there, and for some reason they responded, so... Whatever, I'm gonna leave you guys all alone here in this nice weather, rain, such. So here's where we need to be. And after all that, we get another missile expansion acquired. 
Hooray, hooray. Up to 70 missiles, I can't believe it. And there's another one right there too. Oh man, it's just taunting me for some reason. Alrighty, so there's something right here we can scan as well. This is a sporb. A sporb! Kind of a funny name for a, a plant. <laughs> oh well. They're kind of jerks. You know why? Because as we go into morph ball mode, then this thing happens. And then you can kill them by just doing this. I think. Um, yeah, just like that. And they make funny noises. Just saying. When they die. It's kind of funny, but still. Whatever. Let's just keep going this way, I guess. Since there isn't really much other way else to get around here. And into the tunnel. I gotta love the foundation, though, in this area. Like, like I really love the looks. Again, this really reminds me of, um, of Talon Overworld from uh, Metroid Prime. So, and we scan this little buddy. Kinetic Orb Cannon has been activated. So that pretty much allows us to get to that little bridge right there. It was all like, yo man, I'm a bridge. I, I get you places and stuff. What you know about that? So, um, we can't really go this way, if I remember correctly. So, um, excuse me, door. You, how, how rude of you just, just to shut the door on my front face or whatever. So, um, blow that up. And then, oh my god, more shriek bats. They're just everywhere, I'm telling you. But they're dead. That's good that they're dead, you know? Shriek bats are just that kind of thing. So, if I'm not mistaken, in this little area right here, there's an energy tank we can get. There it is. Booyah. <clears throat> yeah, let's just see what's over on this side. I think that's where the other door is. Up, oh, I see a green door. We can't go that way. I gotta admit, though, like, in Torvus Bog, there's some pretty cool items that we get. Um from this area, so I'm kind of excited to say that these items will be some of my favorite items in this game, hopefully. So let's just get back up here now. And this time, let's go the same way, only Shriek Bats are still back. I'm just gonna let them kill themselves. There you go. <laughs> Boom! Get out of my face, Dark Door. And, uh, what's over here? Oh boy, another Dark Door. Boom, wasted more ammo. Only just one. But still. Okay, Mr. Door, please open now. Thank you. Oh, dear lord, space pirates are everywhere. Well, that can't be. We can't always have space pirates around. It's just kind of rude. Oh, I killed you. Let's go ahead and get my dark beam out, shall we? So we got those stupid space flying pirates again. This time, I can kill them easily. And that's it for that wave, I guess. <laughs> oh man, sending reinforcements, huh? That's not gonna help you, because I am Samus and I can just I can just annihilate you easily. Let's go back to normal power shots. Get a little bit of I'm getting a little bit antsy of my weaponry. Still, there's a there's like crates and boxes that you can just replenish. Oh god. There you go. Yeah, that's right. Get inside those lasers. <laughs> and what is this thing, perhaps? Could this be? Super missiles! Alrighty. Oh, baby. I miss you, super missiles. They're quite super duper 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 duper. That's right. And we get a sweet ass demo. So freaking sick. <laughs> Super missiles have been acquired. Hooray. Yeah, pretty much the same as, as it was in Metroid Prime. If you hold the, the charge button and you press the Y button, then you go shoot, shooting all over the place. So that's uh, kind of cool. And now that we have this, we can now open green doors. Um, Again, this was, I think, from Super Metroid that uh, they took this idea, and I kind of like it. So that's pretty fancy. Oh boy. This looks like, again, one of those rooms that spins around in places. Yeah. 
<clears throat> but I could, you probably can guess what we have to do next, hopefully. Yeah, you saw this coming. We're gonna have to change the light bulb again. <laughs> Only this time in the rain and such. Ugh. There's a dead guy right there. Can't be scannable. So let's go ahead and scan this and activate the hologram once more. Luminoff holo projector online. Automatic message initiated. It's a green Luminoth! My favorite color. A great order comes to the Temple of Tortoise. May you succeed where I failed. I am Avok, the last sentinel of the temple. Heed my words carefully. As you see, this temple has been crippled by the ravages of war. While the main chamber has been mostly preserved, the remainder of the temple has been flooded. You must use your abilities to venture into these flooded areas and find the keys you need to enter the Dark Temple. The waters of Dark Aether are foul and venomous. Avoid them if you can. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coated with emerald holograms. Search the areas now open to you. The aid will seek your light with great zeal. Do not underestimate them. Time for talk is over. Good hunting, and may the light of Aether guide your aim. Oh baby. So we got some new objectives now. Looks like we can now scan these little puppies right here. And this is Dark Aether. Alright, so let's go ahead and read this, shall we? In time we created machines to open rifts to our enemy's world. Volunteer scouts went through the rifts and found a twisted world, harsh and poisonous, a dark aether. They discovered that this world held the missing half of our planet's energy. They also saw the true face of the enemy, a race we came to call Ing, meaning terror. Our scouts could not survive long on the surface of dark aether, so venomous was in the air. Still, we vowed to return. We prepared for war. Oh dear lord. That's uh that's pretty serious, I guess. <laughs> oh baby. Whoa. Whoa. Okay then. Alrighty, so um yeah, that's kind of a thing. <laughs> um it's a good thing I wasn't involved in that little war right there. <laughs> but still, even if they did survive, it still would have been impossible for them. It's a good thing I guess we can survive in Dark Aether. <laughs> I don't it's just I don't know why they didn't survive, but I guess they just didn't have the technology like we did. Ah, good old Chozo technology. Never gets old. So this little thing right here. Can I please scan this, please? Thank you. Elevator system energized. The path below these hollowed grounds is yours to follow. Sweepness! Yeah, go away, Shriekers. Nobody likes you. Alrighty then. So, I guess now all we can do... Ooh, what's that over there? It's a purple door! Ah, but I can't do anything just yet. So it looks like we can scan this. And go through there. There's also um, a green door I might as well take care of. And blow that up. So let's go down this way here. I, I think the next area that I'm thinking... <laughs> oh dear lord. The thing that's I'm pretty sure you, many of you know what's coming up just up ahead is probably one of my least favorite things in this game so far. But uh, for now, I guess we'll scan this. And it looks like we got freaking Grinchlers that... <laughs> Man, they're just everywhere now. Like, once we kill them, they're just going to be around every single place we go to. Well, only in Torvus Bog, but still. 
Oh boy, I downloaded the map. I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. <laughs> Alright, so now we can see what the glorious worlds of Torvus Bog holds us. And as you might know, there's another lair down there, which we aren't going to go there for quite some time. But we will later on, I'll tell you that. So, um, let's see here. About almost 20 minutes in this episode here, so I guess let's go back this way. I'm not quite so certain that there's a safe point where I want to be, but we'll, we'll just keep going, I guess. <laughs> I'll try to make this a little bit longer than in the last episode. I'm pretty sure, uh, well, that was just basically just to get to Torvus Bach, which I don't understand um, how I, why I did that, but still. Gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. So I remember inside here, there's a missile expansion. Haha, <laughs> take that! Not gonna fool me this time! <laughs> Yeah, because I think the first time I played this, like, this was probably one of the most easier to miss uh, missile expansions. Oh my god, Grenchler is. No, no! Go away and never come back. <clears throat> Alright, so, um. Ooh, there's another lore we can read, I guess. And this is. Our War Begins. Let's go ahead and read this one, I guess. We developed crystals that brought the light of Aether to the Dark World. Using these crystals allowed our warriors to explore the enemy lands. To bring war to the Ing, sadly, the crystals were not enough. We needed stronger weapons. Yeah, you're telling me. You got that right. Better armor. We withdrew from Dark Aether while our greatest minds devised new engines of war. So overall, they just need more weaponry. Which again, they don't have. So that's all they have really is just their light crystals, and that's just about it, really. So let's see here. Ooh, there's a door I can go. Oh, it's a trap. Should have seen this coming. Ah, space pirates, really? That's the best you guys can. Whoa, that's new. That's rather new. Yep, those are new. Those are just regular pirate commandos. So. Much like the Dark Pirate Commandos, I guess they all pretty much just, you know... Whoa, they have shields? That's not fair! That's crazy! This isn't. <laughs> uh, I love this. <laughs> just the best way to kill those guys, I swear. The Dark Beam is really useful. Just very, very useful, I guess. So I guess I gotta go through this way now, huh? Huh? Ooh, a Porto. A Porto indeed. Well, I guess this would be a place that I would stop. There's a floating platform over there, but I can't really get to that. <clears throat> so I guess this would be the place to stop. Until then, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!